www.ellenbarnes.co.uk Look at my lovely apron. I'm sure I've shown this off at some point, somewhere in time, on some social media, but I've had this apron a number of years and I decided to wear it today because it's just so pretty. Anyway, I was looking at it thinking, oh, let's get see if I can get some inspiration from it and make a card and uh, we'll see what happens. Not got a super duper plan, got a few stamp sets out. Hoping it's going to work out, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> hi Janine, hi Vicky, nice to see you. So, um, yeah, okay, I'm having the same problem with uh, YouTube as I did yesterday, not wanting to show my lives. Oh well, that's interesting. Okay, let's see if Explorer will play them. So in Chrome, they do not want to show. Well, there we go. Anyway, how is everybody? Do you like my apron? Right. Oh, what is... Oh, dear me. My internet is just not wanting to work very well today. No, I do not want Alexa. New window, Let's see if that will have to help. Oh, yeah, might well help. Sorry about this guys, I'm just having some issues with um, yeah, showing my video on YouTube. Okay, see if that works. It seems to have a problem when I um yeah, anyway. Right, I have gone out very Versailles. Sorry, not very uh not very professional, is it, of me to be faffing around at the beginning of a video. Sorry about that. Okay, so I've got very Versailles and I wondered if I could stamp some of that onto some I've got some Coastal Cabana cardstock here. Then I got some florals out and um, I wanted to see if I could recreate this centre piece because I am missing, there was a stamp set to a wild rose which I thought would have made a perfect kind of centre for the, this flower but I don't have it. So I'm going to see if I can kind of make it up as I go along with that. And I also found some pieces of square cardstock that I I'd cut for a class so I thought I may as well use that too. So let's get started with this very Versailles and see if I can create some kind of border with it. That's I thought my aim really. So I'm going to cut a piece and do some stamping and then I was thinking of then cutting, cutting it out. And I have said in the past, this is a image that, although I absolutely adore it, I know I don't use it as much as I should. So, the although it sort of looks black, I'm wondering if I could do it in a navy. It might work in a navy. So let's get a knight of navy. Use that. Who's joined? Hi, right, let me say a quick hello to everybody who's joined on the live. Hi, Sheila, Vicky, Barbie, Valerie, Mindy, Kathleen, Janice, Paula, Valerie, Tilly, uh, Karen, Janice, Dolly, Martina, Darryly, Janny, Carolee, Glenna. Oh, Mindy got her first frost stub set she got on eBay. Well done for finding it, Mindy. That was quick work, wasn't it? Very quick work. Yeah, poor Mindy was in a class with me the other day and a couple of the ladies were using First Frost, which is a, a retired stamp set from a few years ago. And she was very much, fell very much in love with it, didn't you, Mindy? And um, so she went off to eBay and found it. 
Right, I, I don't know whether I want these a bit more joined up. Oh no, I don't necessarily need to have them joined up. I could stamp a little flower. And Oh, no, where did I see a little flower? Hold on, hold on. Oh yes, I remember. Is it Quiet Meadow? I'm going to have to keep referring to my apron, you know. I'm just going to have to keep like looking at it. Because look, it's got a few flowers in between. So we could stamp some flowers there. Okay, so then I wondered if, before we start stamping, there was a kind of a way of cutting this out. So that we are left with that bit there. So I'm not going to fussy cut around all the tiny squiggles, I'm afraid. It's not going to happen tonight, folks. So I'm going to, can you see, I'm just sort of roughly cutting out around and about to create a cool border. Yep. Ooh. Go around there. Uh, go up like that. Go around. Go around. Do that. There we go. How's about that? Hi, Kelly. I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm a stamping beast. I love to stamp. Well, the earlier one was just a quick one and to be honest, I cheated a little bit because I often actually video the Christmas Stampathon ones and I edit them and then put them up live and Okay, I know they're cut out in different ways, but actually I like I want it to sort of look a bit more organic than the design is. So, um there we go. But we'll just kind of go round Cutting these little elements out. So welcome everybody. If you're brand new to my channel, please do say hello. We love to welcome new followers. Please don't be put off the fact that some of the folks in here already know each other. And so they're going to be saying hello. It's a bit like, you know, going into a room and you think, oh, all these people, they know each other already. They're not going to say hello to me. Well, if you say hi, I will try to make sure I say hi to you and usually someone in the chat will say hello and we are pretty nosy we like to know where people are from and you never know someone might just be your neighbour you just never know Janine that was a long phone call <laughs> hi Jackie Sue uh, Wendy Yes, also please forgive us if we're a little bit familiar with each other. That's, again, because we know, some of us know each other quite well now. So uh, it, it, may, it can be mistaken for rudeness, I, I have no doubt. But uh, the more you get to know us, you realise that famili familiarity breeds contempt. <laughs> that just popped into my head. No, you know that saying, yes, familiar familiarity breeds contempt. No, I don't think we can, we, we, we can what's the word, hold each other to, in contempt. But uh, we certain, certainly get to the point where we hold each other fam in familiar ways. And so uh, it can look like uh, we're being over familiar. What am I doing? Well, Sue, I was inspired. I have been inspired by my lovely apron here. So I'm trying to recreate my apron today. So I'm just trying to play with these tiny little blue flowers. Oh, no, didn't ink that very well, did I? Ruth, what's going on? There we go, just add a few little blue things here and there. See what happens. Mm -mm -mm. Is it my cloth? Yes, poor Louise is very poorly. <gasps> so, yes, please pray for a recovery. 
quick recovery for her. So yeah, she's banished to bed and to watch YouTube videos for the next three days. <laughs> so if there's a sudden spike in my viewings, Louise, I know it was you. <laughs> Right, so I just done my little flares in there. I could do with some little tiny leaves. I'm not sure if that's tiny enough. I might have to get another stamp set out. Sorry, this is going to be very stamp set heavy today, I'm afraid. But okay, so we're going to move on from that now. We've got our kind of border thing happening. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to, which what I'm going to do. I might do it like this. I don't know, we'll have it right at the edge. Anyway, I've done my border. I just feel though, I want it to be a bit more organic than this. I'm, I'm not liking the way it's a bit too... Oh, I stamped that by accident. <laughs> um, uh, one up there. Yeah, so I'm trying to make it not look so repetitive. There we go, that's a bit better. Doesn't feel as repetitive now, does it? I tell you what, stamping with these tiny weeny stamps is tricky. So it I'm not saying I'm not saying this to put you off, I'm just saying this that when you do stamp with these, just be aware of not to push the stamp into the ink pad too hard because you don't actually need to. So very delicate touch is needed. There we go, that's better. I was being a bit heavy handed earlier. That's better, better, better. Yes. Okay. Oh, relax Ruth, relax your shoulders. There we go, that's better. Let the neck be free. Shoulders wide. Ruth will be tearing paper before we know it. <laughs> I might be. The only thing is, I haven't got a torn apron, Delinda, so that wouldn't be in keeping, but you never know. You never know, I might just give up and tear. <laughs> you know me well. Right, so I was inspired by... I wanted to use some of these flowers, and I thought... Um, now, orange... It was funny, Esther was talking earlier about her least favourite colours, and she was saying oranges are not really her favourite colours. And I, I completely get that. The only thing is, when I when they're in combination with other colours, I kind of fall in love with orange. Look! It's just such a great, happy combination. Especially with the coastal. So, I'm going to try for some orange. Try for some pumpkin pie. So do remember if you like what you're seeing, although you might think, Ruth, where are you heading with this? And you might not trust that uh, I'm going to end up with anything decent. Uh, but generally, if you like my channel, please do invite your friends to come and have a watch as well. It's always good fun to have a bit of banter and fun here. Oh, that just feels like it needs another one in there. Oh, I might just go and do another one in there as well. There we go. They fit nicely together, don't they? I've never done that before with these. So then I wanted to stamp a kind of little centre to these. And I am wondering whether to cut a tiny little mask. Um so I can have a circle in the middle to do a central piece. So I do have a tiny circle punch from many, many years ago. So I'm sorry, this is a, a retired one. This is a three eighths of an inch uh, punch. And I'm wondering, so I know Stampin' Up! don't sell this anymore, but I'm sure you can find one somewhere else. 
we may have some circle dies actually from any one of the sets that might work. If anyone finds one, let me know. Okay, so I did cut two of these in one go, so oh dear. Now, was this a good idea or not? We will soon figure it out. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come apart. That's it. You know you want to. Okay, so I'm going to have that there. Not there. Hey, Bobby. See, all that time we were chatting, I wasn't seeing Ruth. I had to go out twice to get a live feed. Oh, that's funny. Yes, I, I know what you're saying. Sometimes you can, when they release those itty bitty punch packs, it is so worth just checking those because they they sometimes release some very useful shapes in those little punch packs. So that's why it's when you get those new catalogues, really do study them. But retired products can be picked up you know from facebook groups ebay all that kind of stuff oh carolee's just done a one sheet wonder with what what peekaboo peach pumpkin pie misty moonlight with crumb cake oh that sounds lovely carolee okay so i'm going to try and aim so i'm just going to bring this towards me a bit uh this in the middle of my pink thing oh doesn't not quite in the middle but i do think that matters greatly just gonna Pop that there like that. Now, what stamp set do we have that has a little circle in it that I can then use for the centre of this? Yes, please do post it to the Facebook group. I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> I'm wondering actually if just punching out some yellow circles might be better for this because I've got this orange inside. Do you remember a couple of years ago we had those fuzzy yellow stickery things? They were, were great. Or I just might just put... Um, a gem. I can put a gem in the middle. Right, that's fine. I'll move on. Let's get to the next flower. So we've got some, got some green leaves coming away, and then we've got some little yellow ones. So let's do some. Oh, this is a good, a good one, isn't it? And I, I've, I'm sensing Granny Apple Green for this. I know I use Granny Apple quite a bit, but it is such a great colour. Oops. Da, 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 da. Is there anything in the pretty perennial set? Could be. Christine, could be, yes. Okay, so let's just do a bit of Ruth stamping now. This is not necessarily in, directly inspired by my apron. This is more about the colours, really. So I'm just kind of going with the flow of where I would stamp. So if we're going to bring that aqua on there. Okay. We need some little yellow flowers now. So I've got this little stamp here. Does S Stampin' Up have a die that has a peekaboo wheel? Yes, it does, Bonnie. Yep, I will show you in a minute. Just remind me. Remind me to show you. It's If someone's got a catalogue in front of them, it's the same page as the one with the sort of cartoony astronaut that one 
I can't remember off, off the top of my head what it's called, but um, sorry, just concentrating a second. This might have gone quiet. <laughs> sometimes do that guys sorry about that I'm just thinking about where to stamp these little yellow flowers they're so adorable so I've got that and then I'm thinking I can now bring in those tiny little leaves and stamp those a bit more strategically and then we also have this tiny little yellow flower set as well I'm going to end up with barely any space left here but there we go Bonnie you came to the right place to ask a question <laughs> yeah we've got quite a few stamping up obsessives on this channel so uh I thought someone would soon be able to tell you. Yeah, see, your your creatives and obsessives. See, my description for you guys has changed. <laughs> okay. There we go. Just trying to see if we've got little circle punch oh, I haven't got one at the moment but I'm trying to think is there something current some oh the turtle the turtle has two little yellow sorry not yellow two little circle so I'm looking at yellow that's why I said the word yellow um it has two little circle punches so They're probably a bit smaller than these ones though, that will be the problem. But they are an option. Right, I feel like these need a little bit of a curve to them. I'm trying to decide what to use. I might use the end of my Tombow. If I can find one that has a lid on it. Oh, they're very tiny. Yes, it's a very interactive set, the one that you guys are talking about. Okay, so I'm just giving that a little bit of a lift there. It's quite cute. There go. Hi, my name's Jackie and I'm a stampaholic. <laughs> you definitely are, Jackie, because um, I've been noticing you've been leaving comments on some of my older videos. It's like you are properly working through the Ruth uh, Artful Stamping with Ruth archives at the moment. And it's lovely to see because um, you're commenting on videos that I've I've not looked at for a very, very long time. So... Um, Okay, I, I feel like I just want to bring a little bit more of that orange back in. So, I'm just going to use that tiny little flower. Just dab, dab, dabbing. Very gently. And, um, just want to see if I have the odd little... I'm stamping off, just doing little clusters. Happy little flowers. Bob Ross would say. Okay. Just felt like it needed some more orange in there. Okay, so let's pack that away, get these other bits out of the way. I'm just going to play with this a bit more because I feel that I want these lines to be a little bit more organic. I don't really like what's happened to these here. 
Um, and I may even brush over some Knight of Navy with a blender pair, uh, brush so that we get that more defined kind of curve. So I know we've kind of lost some of the detail of that stamp, but that's fine. That's because I want I want the stamps to do what I want them to do. I don't, you know, and remember that sometimes when you're working on a project, you can feel you almost have to be so true to the stamps. It, it changes what you want. But no, at the end of the day, they're just images on a piece of paper. And if it doesn't work, change it. I've been watching while you've been cataloguing and stamping up stamps. Wow, Jackie, that's incredible. Okay, so I'm, I just want that depth of colour on the edge there. Don't want it to go too far in. So I'm just going to bring that round like that. Just want to curve that a bit more. So it's semi-freehand semi cutting, but kind of going with the, the shape. Oh, I don't like that shape there. Got to improve that one. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Much happier with that. Where's the other one gone? Oh, that's good, Jackie. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's always good when you rediscover your old stamps and you actually use them. Sorry, itchy eye. Ooh, right. So I'm just going to do the same to this one now. I'm just curving this a bit more so that it feels a little bit more organic. The design. And turn it over as well to make it easier to cut. Yep, that works. Liz, hi Heidi. Sorry, just seeing everyone who's coming on. Sorry if I've missed anybody. Hi Lorraine. Paula, Monica. Oh, if I've missed anybody, please say hello again. I've been having my head down trying to sort this card out. So. I did. I used pumpkin pie, granny apple green. And I'm using Knight of Navy currently. Right, so now, moment of uh, chopping. I've got to cut this and decide how much I want to actually have showing. Do I just want a little bit coming in like that? I could always stamp more. Get my trimmer. That off there to start. Are you up early, Heidi, or have you not gone to bed yet?
Right, now do we prefer that or have it that way? Mm, I think I need to cut a little bit more off that end. Jackie says, I found it easier to stamp when I use the wheel of names to choose the inks, as I was spent ages choosing them, then I pick two or three numbers that relate. Brilliant! Yes, good. And it's a great way to put combinations together that perhaps you wouldn't normally think to put together. So, oh, brilliant. horizontal like the ocean the wheel of names it's a website you can go to Phoebe uh, if, and basically I've typed out all the stamping up colours if anyone wants the document let me know just email me ruthtrice at gmail.com and I can email you the list and you just basically put all the colours into the wheel of names and you just spin the wheel Phoebe, you know what I use for the Zoom events? So I'm going to cut this to make a square card. So I'm doing this 14 and a half centimetres by 14 and a half. Uh, for my friends in the US, that's six, uh, sorry, five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Just fell off my chair. You didn't know this. What you didn't know that I used that wheel thing. Yeah, it's just a website. It's a free website you can go to. Yep. Right, I like the idea of this being um slightly lifted up I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna stick these on the dimensionals so let's get this stuck down first oh you've never seen how I do it <gasps> oh right okay fair enough that's fair enough yeah they're completely random Phoebe that's what the amazing thing is 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 we end up with these like really random colour combos and generally they work sometimes people find some of them a bit tricky but yeah usually they work we're talking about the wheel the wheel that I use Esther for the picking colours the wheel of names Oh dear, Lorraine, you actually fell over. Oh dear, Lorraine, don't do that too often. So I'm just trying to find my dimensional. Oh. Oh, I just thought I could have used the sticky, you know, the sticky strip that Stampin' Up! do. But, no. I'm just going to try and do an Esther here, look. Whoop. This is what Esther does. Oh, it sort of works. No, no, come on. Yep. Yep. No, how does Esther do it? She seems to be able to do it in one go. 
She's not doing it right, lol. No, obviously not. One, two, three, four, five. I'm having to do them one at a time. Esther just seems to like whip through them. I'm going to have to go to dimensional backing removal classes, I think, with Esther. Esther, how much do you charge for that kind of a class? <laughs> Kelly can't do it either. Lay it lower. Oh, okay. Hmm. Very reasonable, you know. Hi, Ivy. I should call you Auntie Ivy, really. I feel like you're an auntie to me, Ivy. Okay, so now I'm looking at this thinking, hmm, need some extra leafage or something. So, um, where are my post-it notes? I did have them out a second ago. Here they are. Just going to uh, protect this little side here. Not auntie. Oh, does that make you feel old, <laughs> Ivy? See, it's just a respect thing. Yes, I'm going to do gems, but I, I wanted to see what the yellow looked like as well. So I will. Right, where's my green? Just going to do a little bit more of the granny apple. I keep forgetting you across the pond and was going to order from Esther and you. You can't do that, Miss Bonnie. Sorry. We can give you suggestions of who to order from there's a few demonstrators in here are you in america or canada bonnie So for those of you who've just joined and you're wonder, wondering what I'm doing, I'm taking inspiration from my apron. So this is my apron. So this is what I'm kind of using to inspire me. Now when, yeah, so inspire, to be inspired by something doesn't mean you have to copy it exactly. So, so Miss Dolly is a demo. Linda is a demo. Who who's actually a wonder's a demo? Some people are mainly just they purchase for themselves, so they they're not demonstrating demos if that makes sense. They're more I'm my best customer demonstrators. But is, is anybody on here who actually is demonstrating demos? Oh, Phoebe. Yeah, Melanie's a demo as well. Linda, Kelly. Yeah, see, there's loads of them. Loads of them. Just type their names in into the demonstrator finder. Um, you should, they should come up. Okay, so I've done that little bit of extra around the edges and I wanted to do a cool centre. Although, I'm... I'm wondering if just giving this a little bit of colour, I'm finding the starkness a bit too much. There we go, that's a bit better. Yeah, I know, they're all coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> Kelly's a demonstrating demo, there we go. So if any demonstrating demos want to just put their names just type your name as you come up on the Stampin' Up! website if you can be found on the demo website and that would be helpful. 
Um, please don't be offended if Bonnie doesn't decide to shop with you because there are lots of you. Yeah, for sure, Phoebe. Yes, do it. You create beautiful things. Um, you you need to have agreed. There's a policy you need to agree, Melanie. So when you go into the Stampin' Up! demonstrator bit, you need to go to your profile and say you need to um, tick a box that says that Stampin' Up! are allowed to forward customers to you. So you definitely need to have that ticked first of all. Uh, if you just put your finger on the chat, it will. Um, you can you can grab them, Bonnie. Or after this has gone li live, and you want just to do it in the quiet of your own and in your own time, then you can do that. Some items in the mini catalog went on sale today. Today, I thought it wasn't until June, Diana. I got I've printed out the list. Yeah, so as demonstrators we got given the list of items that are going to have reductions on them from the mini catalogue, the January to June mini catalogue. So um I was gonna go through that at some point. Oh that's interesting, Martina. Is that a bit like how in the UK if you call someone aunt so-and-so or auntie? Like, I think auntie sounds more familiar and aunt is a bit more formal. Aunt so-and-so. Aunt. Ooh, what's that? The aunts in James and the Giant Peach. Oh. Oh, Martina. I would not want to be told off by you. I hope he backed off. <laughs> oh look at these pretty sequins hi christine <laughs> glad you got your shopping done i can see myself ordering another pack of these these are just so fab look Oh, he's darling. He did with his mouth, you know. <laughs> Don't mess with Martina. See you, Phoebe. Oh, have a lovely time. Give her a big kiss from us. Um. Right, do you think I need anything else? Oh, look, there's a bit of yellow trim on there. I should do a yellow trim or do you think I should leave it? Oh, that's quite cute actually. Oh, oh yes.
sorry, you're welcome, Esther. You're welcome. Or oh, you're. <laughs> Wendy's gonna. Wendy Wu, are you still here? We were talking the other day about the uses of your and your. Your. <laughs> we're like the Facebook grammatical police, aren't we, Wend? Terrible, aren't we? Your. 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 <laughs> Oh, nice, Vicky. <laughs> Hi, Nessa. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you come in earlier. And Miss Melanie. Oh, thank you, Jane. Oh. Very kind of you. There we go. Little yellow border and I think just a hint of blue. Just a tiny, 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 tiny. So it doesn't look so stark. That's that's because my, my apron is not it's a bit of a vintagey apron, so it's not got very clear lines, if that makes sense. So <laughs> Wendy's falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi Scholl is a, the uh, grammatical police. Have you been making anything today, Miss Nessa? Any new creations of yours? Oh, Nessa, what's the weather been like up by you? We had, like, sunshine for most of the day and then we had rain uh, uh, just this evening we managed to get outside though and have a little wee barbecue we had a friend come over helping us to set up um, the Potter's House eBay account watch this space everybody because I know we were having this discussion about um, about me selling some of my wreaths so I think one of the first things we'll list on the new Potter's House eBay account will be some of my wreaths but we just need to wait a few more days for the account to be verified and then we're going to list some stuff yep Yes, and a big thank you, because um, I don't actually have access, personal access, to the PayPal account. So I know I sometimes put the PayPal account address out there, and people have donated over the last few months. Um, so a huge thank you, because we transferred, um, and I think it was mainly people through my channel, from the event that I did back in November... And then up to now, nearly £500 into the account today. So, uh, honestly, an absolute massive thank you from the bottom of my heart because £500 out there makes such a huge difference. So, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, I think I'm done. So Potter's House, just for those of you who don't, don't know it's a charity that I support I'm actually a trustee of the organization now and it's a charity that works out in Kenya uh, for the relief of poverty of various people but more than that it's also about training people and helping people to help themselves so it's not just about um, giving money loads of money away it's uh, actually about uh, employability it's about giving parental skills uh, trying to get people off uh, from away from addictions that kind of stuff so there we go. Right, hi Cheryl. Um, uh, hi, or late to class. I was on the phone to New York. Oh, lovely Cindy. Oh, 
please email me the eBay account and the colour chart for the wheel, please. Yes, Louise, I will do. Um, yes, the eBay account doesn't exist just yet. We're just we're sorting it all out. Nothing's listed, but I will, you know, I'll, you know, I may come on and do a specific thing about all that when when it's all up and running. Thank you, Janice. Yes. So just to recap, I was inspired by my apron. There it is. So it's not quite the right colour. Let's hope Stampin' Up comes out with a colour like this. It's like a darker pool party, to be honest. Yeah. So there we go. And um, just sort of use the colours, similar colours there. And then what else did I do? Oh, for the centre. Right, let's go over the stamp sets then. I know you like to know these things. So we've got hand penned petals. Just do that so you don't get the light. Okay, hand penned petals. We used various florals from there. Tranquil thoughts. Use the little thing there. You could use the leaves, these ones, if you wanted to. But I use that one there. Very Versailles. This stamp here, which I had said that I wanted to use a little bit more of. So I stamped that in a row and then cut out. So you'd have to watch the replay if you've just joined. And there's this little wee one from Circle Celebration. But if you don't have this set, you know, have a look at have a look at other sets that you have for something that um does that. It's got basically it's like stamens really. There, there are lots of other stamp sets that have stamens over the years. I just don't have them anymore. Uh, and then this tiny little one from Quiet Meadow. These now we haven't done any spottage or dotage because we don't really have any on on this design. So that's why I haven't really used that. But um oh excuse me. But there we go. So a few stamp sets. But sometimes it's fun to have a piece of inspiration and then just see what fits. See see what you can do with it. So colour wise we used Knight of Navy, Pumpkin Pie, Granny Apple Green. Oh, a daffodil delight somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it goes. And Coastal Cabana. So I'll just get a piece of that. So that's the Coastal Cabana. And those are the colours. My aprons are covered in spotted. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit different. I'm not sure if I, it's my favourite card in the world, but sometimes it's just nice to do something a bit, a bit different, you know. It's just sweet. I'd like the dimension as well, which obviously isn't on my apron, but I quite like it. Yeah, it'd be lovely if we had a stamp like this. Oh! <gasps> Imagine. Ooh. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? We've had some we've had similar stamps like this in the past, so I'm sure I am sure to sure that some of you who are on Artful Stamping Space will go, Oh, I've got a stamp like that. I can do it. So yeah, so if you want to take a screenshot of uh, my apron, please go ahead and see what you guys can be inspired to do. There we go. Screenshot time. So I would actually try and take a photograph and maybe put it on Artful Stamping Space. So if you're not over there, it's on Facebook, the group, and it's where you can share your creations after being inspired by what I do. Glennon remembers a flourish like that. Yes, very Baroque. Indeed. Yeah. Right. Lovely to see you all. Thank you so much for joining. And um, hi, Ali. Can you see that big? Oh, I'm going to have a look in a minute. It was a bit cloudy earlier. We have had rain. It was sunny. And then this massive cloud came, came over today and rained. So the cloud may be gone now. So I'll go and have a look, Ali. Thank you for that. Tootles, Delinda. I'm so glad you're back online. 
we missed you. Is your new iPad to your satisfaction? Oh, brilliant, Martina. Right, well, I look forward to seeing what you create then, Martina. You're very welcome, Jenny. Thank you for popping in to say hello. Oh, if you've got cloud of you, Cindy. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you for the thumbs up, everybody. And thank you for the super chats and the PayPal. And so uh, if you ever feel like you want to donate uh, to my channel please go to the about me page on my channel and the links are all there if you need any information about what I've done tonight or uh, my classes and things like that then just email me Ruth oh, sorry about that I'm getting up Ruth twice at gmail.com Oh, I'm watching as Ruth. Isn't that interesting? There we go. That was me. May I remind you, Ruth, we have still not seen the birthday card you received. Well, Martina, I was thinking of taking all my birthday cards down and doing a, a video on all my birthday cards. It's because I still have them displayed, you see. I am still enjoying them. Thank you for the reminder, though, Martina. <laughs> Yes, everything Eleanor. Oh, I remember that stamp set. Yeah, lovely stamp set. Yeah. Oh, Esther had to approve my comment, did you? Because <laughs> I'm not watching it as my channel. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Right, lots of love, everybody. And, um, yeah, great to see Esther's... Uh, video earlier where she talks about being a demonstrator so if you haven't seen that do go and check out Esther's video I actually got a bit distracted because I started watching the one where it was Esther's birthday and um <laughs> and I know I remembered oh I need to go on live <laughs> lots of love everyone have a great evening morning day wherever you are please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the way out bye Thank you, Carolee. Night, Jackie.